living paycheck to paycheck, barely. We didn't plan on a layoff. I wasn't able to afford food for my daughter. 100 families will attempt to raise their collective net worth by $1 million in just 10 weeks. Yeah, there you have it, the million dollar challenge, and uh, it's uh, Aldergrove got really behind this. <laughs> yeah, that was Aldergrove, and these are the hosts of this new show, uh, Bruce Celery and Jody Samra. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for the invitation. Thank so you for having us. How does this show work? Do they win a million dollars, or do they earn a million dollars, or can we have the million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah we just, we just kind of split. If you <laughs> want it, you get a million like, dollars. Yeah. Well, the concept for the show is we took a community, Aldergrove, BC, and mm -hmm. took 100 families in that community and right. worked with them over the course of 10 weeks to see if they could collectively increase their net worth by one million dollars. So every week they're doing something to that end. It's either getting another job to raise income, uh, cutting down their food, food bill, cutting down their mortgage expenses. So every week they had a challenge. And if they met their weekly goal mm -hmm. of increasing their net worth by $100,000, they earned the privilege to vote for one family to be awarded $10,000. Oh, so great. it was really, it's part the human drama and partly this is a challenge show. We gotta win week after week after week after week to become the million dollar neighborhood if that's oh, where they get okay. that that's really the arc of the that's whole thing how it works okay yeah. so uh, when you talk about these challenges you mentioned so so did all the families get behind like how do you reduce your mortgage if your mortgage is set you know what i'm saying well you go and refinance is what you do okay and a lot of these families uh, in this environment just hadn't done a lot of the things that people might know to do but every week some families stepped up and some didn't and that's part of the human story that we were telling here is who comes together to make the community, to help the community achieve its goal. Okay. There's a lot of conflict in these kinds of stories. Can you imagine, sure. picture, you're the people who live on your street mm. come streaming out of their houses on a Saturday morning and saying, okay, everybody, how are we gonna get a handle on our money together? It just doesn't happen in our culture. So mm. what we created in this community was totally different. Yeah, yeah. and on the, on the surface, this is a financial show, but really it's a show about community and how do people mm -hmm. remain accountable to each other? How do they motivate each other? How do they support each other through tough times and tough challenges mm -hmm. and, and really exposing themselves to you know, their neighbors and talking about the good, bad, and the ugly when it comes to their right. financial stresses. Do they know? Did they know each other that well before this no. show? These were strangers. Right. Like virtual strangers that may not have crossed paths in any other capacity. That's wow. incredible. Yeah, especially with those kind of details of your, you know, your financial and. You don't and even share that kind of stuff with your friends. Yeah, no, probably you not even your spouse. <laughs> 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 well, you have the, the emotions right around this. There's so much um, shame, stigma, guilt, sure. and this vulnerability that people have to talk about money. Is couples can't even talk about this. Mm -hmm. I have a private practice. I see patients, and mm -hmm. they'll be together for decades and can't talk effectively about money issues. So, does a show like this? Uh, one thing it seems that we we lose in our society is is that is the neighborhood feel. And, and there's usually like two or three or four neighbors who all know each other, but everyone else not so much. Do you see that that's sort of going back to a time when, when neighborhoods were actually neighborhoods? Absolutely. And these people have become lifelong friends, really. So one of the things you'll see in the series is the largest community garage sale Oprah style, right? It's enormous. <laughs> and this is a community that had to find the location, figure out what they were going to sell, go to each other's houses to help them deal with purging things that had a great emotional connection. Right. That kind of result only happens when a community comes together. You just can't do that on your own. Yeah. And that's the part that's so kind of inspiring is you see this group of people, because you're right, in, in our day and age now, we don't have the same feel of community mm, sure. that there used to be. So you see these people to come together and, and as Bruce said, develop these lifelong friendships. And that's that's the part that's so heartwarming and inspiring really to, for us as we went yeah. through this process. Nice. It looks like a really neat show. It's called uh, Million Dollar Neighborhood. It's premiering on Sunday. Sunday, January the 22nd on the Oprah Winter free network at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and it re-airs at 8 p.m. So tune in. Okay, Looking for sure we will. It. Good to see you guys. Thanks very much. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you All for right. having us. We'll take a break.